Helen Kreeble, our 2011 Cornerstone winner, might be the most stubborn person in Douglas County. Maybe the United States. Thank goodness for Parker, Douglas County, and for Helen herself. She's tenacious, stubborn. She is really stubborn. Uh, you have no idea how stubborn this woman is. Well, she's still running the Colorado Horse Park. That's how stubborn she is. For the past 20 years, Helen Kreeble's stubborn streak has helped her focus on making the Colorado Horse Park the second most prestigious equestrian facility in the United States, next to the Kentucky Horse Park. Helen's tenaciousness has helped her battle through cancer and recover from a fall last year that could have killed her is she knows how to overcome adversity. She's got uh, perseverance to work through any battle that she faces. Long before her involvement in the horse park, Helen was a world-renowned art historian. She, she knows art so well. I mean, she act, she's very good at it and she knows what she's talking about when she talks about art. A graduate of Harvard Radcliffe, she earned her master's at Penn, then did postgraduate work at John Hopkins. She is a sliver away from a PhD in art history. Helen turned her interest in art into a very successful career in discovering, restoring, and marketing works of unknown American artists. She has owned three major galleries in Connecticut where she was raised. After nearly 30 years in the professional art world, Helen retired in the early 90s. She then focused her energy on helping her daughter Amanda continue her career as a nationally ranked equestrian. That's what brought them to Parker where Helen purchased High Prairie Farms in 1992. Helen renamed it Colorado Horse Park and has invested thousands of hours and millions of dollars to make it known throughout the world for its show events and facilities. It, it loses money. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say that we make all these millions and millions of dollars, but uh, I, I, I can assure you, if Helen Kreeble was not the sole funder of this facility, it would not be in existence. So her love deep inside in her heart is not the dollar, it's not. And if you really got to know Helen, you would know her love is the equestrian community and the success of the Colorado Horse Park and what it can bring to our community. But it's a project that I've really done to give back to the community since I had already been very successful. And I wanted it to be something that would fit with the Western horse environment of Colorado and talk about the history and heritage of the state and the region through the horse, using the horse as a teaching tool. Today, it hosts more than 40 major equestrian shows annually. The horse park has 11 arenas and 300 permanent show stalls, and enough portable stalls for a thousand competing horses. The horse park is a major economic force for Parker and Douglas County just know that uh, it's amazing when uh, the events are going on down at the Colorado Horse Park I'll suddenly see a party of 12 walk in and it's obvious that it's not only the owners it's the uh, the riders it's the uh, hands that uh, handle these horses and groom the horses and the, the whole family gets together and they come in and they eat in our restaurants and they're uh, purchasing in our town Education and support for amateur athletes is the primary mission of the horse park. Fundraising events for many charities and the town of Parker are held there every year. Helen dreams of building a Western Heritage Museum at the horse park. She would like to see it centered around the role of the horse through history and the contributions of Native Americans, Hispanics, and early pioneers. Helen is a political activist whose influence is felt on a national level. An individual can make a difference. And if we think as individual, uh, responsible Americans that we cannot make a difference, uh, then we'll lose our freedom. It is the individual that fights for freedom that will keep or save America uh, as that wonderful, uh, beacon to the rest of the world. She established the Vernon K. Kreeble Foundation in honor of her grandfather to support local and national causes. 
Helen is no stranger to the national media. She is a leading advocate for immigration reform and counts many prominent leaders among her friends. As I say, I'm so involved in the immigration issue. It's very dear to my heart. We have H-2B workers here. They are wonderful workers and they're dear friends at this point and um, very, very difficult to get um, visas for them. Nobody wants to be illegal. Helen has extended her charitable work to Turks and Caicos Islands, where she is actively involved in historic preservation. Helen's trailblazing spirit goes back to her Pennsylvania Dutch roots. Since coming to America in the mid-1700s, the family has been historically and commercially prominent. The Kreebles have always looked to the future, and Helen has brought that vision and pioneering spirit to Parker. Helen's family, all living in Connecticut, include three children, Fred, Chris, and Mandy, and eight grandchildren. Thank you, Helen, for all that you do, for the town of Parker, for Douglas County, for the whole horse park, for the idea of horses and what you do. It's just an incredible, incredible award. It is well-deserved. God bless you, Helen. Thank you so much.